house is Jennifer. She's never been married and is not that anxious to try it. We showed her videotapes of these three single men, and she picked one as her date. Which one did she choose? Which one will our audience choose? And this is Pam. She would like to get married, and she's looking for a doctor or a lawyer. Which one of these men did she choose? Which one will our audience choose? Today on Love Connection, you'll find out who they picked, who the audience picks, and everything that happened on their dates. Now, here to tell us more about Love Connection is our host, Chuck Woolery. You know, there are more than 60 million single adults in the United States, so here on Love Connections, we've got a new way for singles to meet, and here's how it works. We've compiled a video library of hundreds of attractive and available single people. We then select some of those singles and show them three video tapes. After they watch the tapes, they choose the one they're most attracted to and go out on a date. Then, they come here and tell us what happened on the date. Now, to begin with, we're going to meet a woman who selected a date from our video library. She was raised in Northern California. She likes to paint eggs. And she says that strange things are always happening to her. Please welcome Jennifer Ball. Okay. Jennifer, your your palms are all wet. Are you nervous? No, I just sweat a lot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. I sweat a lot too. Do you? Yeah. What kind of strange things happen to you? Well, I get robbed a lot at gunpoint. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was helping these three guys jumpstart their car, and they robbed me. Well, they had an argument about whether they would rob me or not. Are you serious? Yeah. Do strange things happen on your dates? Um. Sometimes, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are your what are your dates thinking? What are my dates like? What do they think of you? Well, a lot of times they're skeptical of my personality. They think I'm really spacey. They kinda wonder how I get through life. Well, don't get robbed anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't. Now that we know a little bit more about Jennifer, we're gonna show you a portion of the tapes that she saw. So watch closely because you're gonna get to vote. Okay, first there was Bruce. Now he's from Baltimore, Maryland. He's uh, turned off by vain women, and here's how he describes himself. Bruce is a fun guy, um, likes to do a lot of romantic things, sunsets, um, walks on the beach, uh, good wine, good music, good women, that's my motto. Next there was Alex, now he was raised in San Francisco, he likes to dance, cook and play polo and he explains his philosophy of life to us. I believe in living for today, somebody said Life is what's happening while you're planning for tomorrow. So I don't sit around and plan for tomorrow. If you see so many people who are upset because the sun's not shining, but I find a wonderful thing to do on a cloudy day. Finally, there's GJ. Now, he likes to take girls on his boat and not leave the dock, so he says, and he also likes to act silly at parties. Whenever I'm at a party, I always feel like I should be the center of attention. And so when I do go, whoever I go with feels left out. Last party I went to, uh, my friend had a... It was a New Year's Eve party, and I filled this fish tank with a couple of six packs of beer. Okay. Now, before we find out who Jennifer chose, let's see all three men again, okay? First, there was Bruce. Now, he's 28-year-old sales representative. And Alex, he teaches piano, and he's 34. And finally, GJ, and he's a 27-year-old financial consultant. Okay, audience, it's time to vote again. Who do you think's the best man for Jennifer? Here in the studio and at home, too. Please make your choice right now. Okay, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to find out who you selected and everything that happened on their date. We'll be right back. Now Worthington and his dog Spot. Up is on the blink, pussy cow. Maybe later than you think, pussy cow. If you need a car or truck, if you want to save a buck, if you want to change your luck, pussy cow. Hey, we're having a big truck sale here at Worthington Chevrolet. We're going to find out who the audience chose in just a little while, but first let's find out who Jennifer chose. Who did you select? Alex. Alex. Okay, now we, uh, here on Love Connections, we hear both sides of the date. Alex is backstage, so let's welcome Alec, Alex Forrester. Alex, how are you? Alex, I'm going to get back to you in just a second, okay? Why, what makes you pick uh, Alex? Because you used the word vapid. I really like that word. Vapid? Yeah. <laughs> Alex, what was your uh, first, what did you think of first when you saw Jennifer? Oh, it was heaven. Okay, sounds like we're off to a good start. Yeah, tell us what happened on the date. Well, first, actually, during the day, he called me up and left me messages, which was, he, I work at a country club, and he left them at the switchboard, and they'd call me up and give me these messages. Like what? Um, I don't really remember what he said. Let's now. see if he does. Okay. See, do you remember what the messages were? Uh, the first one was from Mr. Wright, just reminding her that tonight was the night. 
made me very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like rhymes very much. Uh, I see. So. <laughs> Tell me what happened on your date. Well, so we went on a really nice cruise around the marina, which was my idea. And then uh, he brought a bottle of wine and some bread. And then, um, and he also used the expression joie de vivre in a sentence three times. Joie de vivre. Yeah, but in a sentence three times. Oh. <laughs> It took so long for us to have the meal that he ordered another craft of wine and I was thinking, oh no, I don't think I should drink this much. <laughs> I mean, really? Yeah, because I hadn't eaten all day. Nothing? Well, a little bit at 11.30, but anyway. <laughs> what time was it now? It was about 8.30 or 9. Oh my God. I know. And so anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I guess I fell asleep in the salad because... <laughs> Salad? Wait, it I, gets worse. Oh, it gets worse. And Fall then he realized he was going to have to take me outside, and I was like really holding on to him, and I ended up throwing up on his shoes. <laughs> you threw up on your date? I know, it wasn't very nice. <laughs> Alex, I've had that effect on people before. I can't help it. He ordered coffee to try to save this wonderful evening. He did? Uh-huh. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, what happened after you threw up on him? Well, uh... He's a great segue into another question. No, but it's all I can get. He, well, I guess I threw up on his shoes. I don't even remember that. Uh -huh. It was really nice because he protected my clothes. It was my roommate's clothes, actually. <laughs> and then he drove me home. The are only... these your clothes? No, these are my roommate's uh -huh. <laughs> This is actually what I wore on the date. So you can tell that. <laughs> so he drove me home. And I don't really remember very much. I just know he drove me home. Well, I do remember that he kind of used an English accent. What did you say in English, with an English accent? Uh, we were just heading toward the front door and talking about the front door and how beautiful it was and that we were going to make it in an upright position, and we did. <laughs> He took you home and you don't remember anything else. Don't no. remember how it ended. Well, how did you get to your, your room? I stuff? don't know. Carefully. Don't very know. carefully. I didn't have a hangover, though. You didn't? No. You seem okay now. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see who the audience picked for you. Want you to get kind of anxious to see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, let's do that right now. What do they pick? We're looking. Alex, 41%. You know, if you take the audience's advice, you may be able to have a sober date. <laughs> and we'll pay for it. What do you think? Um, can I say no? Hey, Alex, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. You have a nice gift, and thanks for coming on the show, though. I was hoping to make it through an entree with her. Well, gee, what can I say? <laughs> Maybe we'll see you again soon. I hope so. Okay, Jennifer, honey, thank you. We have a nice gift for you. You're delightful. Thank we you. hope to see you again, too. And we're going to come right back with just another couple in just a minute. Just watch. Connect. Let's meet another woman who